Yes, hello guys, welcome on Yourpedia platform. I hope your interview preparation is going fine. So, you know guys, we are discussing important questions from each and every subject through this particular interview question series. For PSUs, we are preparing, you know, and in this class, we are going to discuss very important question which was recently asked in one of the PSU, IUCL actually, and this can be asked in ONGC, HPCL also, very, very important question. And through this particular discussion, guys, you will get one more in-depth idea about very important term related to compressor and turbine, that is polytropic efficiency. So the exact question is, what is polytropic efficiency of a compressor and turbine and why it is required? This was the question which is asked. Okay, Guys, already we know about first law efficiency, we know about second law efficiency, we know about isentropic efficiency. What is this polytropic efficiency? Guys, first law efficiency is defined as the ratio of the net work output divided by the heat supplied. Second law efficiency uh, is defined as the ratio of the actual work obtained divided by the uh, uh, what you can say ideal work okay or uh, for actual efficiency divided by the uh, ideal efficiency that is our second law efficiency. Isentropic efficiency for a turbine or compressor like suppose if I uh, define it for turbine, for turbine we can define isentropic efficiency as the ratio of the actual work obtained divided by, uh, developed by the turbine divided by the isentropic work developed, developed by the turbine. Then what is this polytropic efficiency? Guys, this efficiency is very much similar to the isentropic only it is actually extension of that isentropic efficiency guys isentropic ef efficiency actually tells us about the deviation of a uh, particular expansion or compression process from the isentropic one. In ideal case, we assume isentropic compression in the compressor and isentropic expansion in the turbine. But in real case, if the process is not a isentropic or what you can say, it is not a uh, reversible adiabatic process, then if it is not a reversible adiabatic, you will have a, what you can say, the entropy will increase. Entropy is not remain constant, it is going to increase. So actually, we will devi deviate from the isentropic path. Also, you can say if, if you are getting expansion through a polytropic process. Okay, So, what is the deviation of that real process from the isentropic one? That deviation we measure from the uh, isentropic efficiency. Through that isentropic efficiency, we measure that deviation. If more, if very low is the deviation, isentropic efficiency, high is the uh, deviation. And if high is the isentropic efficiency, means very low is the deviation. Okay, So, if isentropic efficiency is very high, what it means? It means we are very close to the isentropic compression or expansion process. But guys, that isentropic efficiency we cannot use to compare multiple compressor or turbines which are having different compression ratios. Like suppose if you want to compare uh, performance of two or more turbine or compressor which are having different compression ratios. So you cannot compare that through isentropic efficiency. Why? Because isentropic efficiency is a function of pressure ratio. So if pressure ratio is different for different turbines or compressors, the parameter which you will get that is not the right parameter to compare those uh, what you can say compressor or turbine. So for getting some kind of universal parameter so that uh, we will get some kind of expression which is independent of the pressure ratio, which is independent of, of the initial and final conditions, that parameter is known as polytropic efficiency. So polytropic efficiency is more universal parameter which is actually used to compare two or more compressors or turbine operating with the different compressor ratio, uh, different pressure ratios to, uh, you can say compare their performance, we use this expression polytropic efficiency. Because this polytropic efficiency is independent of the initial conditions, it is independent of the pressure ratios. It depends on n value only. Okay, let me discuss with you from how actually we can get that expression of the polytropic efficiency. That is very very important for you. So, guys, let me first give you brief idea about the isentropic efficiency. Isentropic efficiency, you know, a measure of deviation of the known isentropic or a polytropic compression or expansion from the isentropic compression or expansion process. I am not going into much detail about this. I hope you know about this. Okay, so isentropic compression, compression ke liye kuch aisa hoga, 1 to 2 isentropic compression, 1 to 2 is known, 1 to 2 dash is known isentropic. Similarly, for turbine, 1 to 2 is isentropic expansion and 1 to 2 dash is known isentropic expansion. Efficiency, isentropic efficiency of compression is W isentropic divided by W actual, isentropic efficiency of turbine is W actual divided by W isentropic. Because turbine ke liye isentropic work will be more, actual work will be less because it is a work producing device. This is actually a work absorbing device. Okay, So I am not here discussing about the isentropic polytropic efficiency of the compressor. I am only discussing with you the isentropic efficiency of the turbine. Same procedure you can carry out if you are interested 
if you will follow this particular uh, short video, you will be able to carry out similar kind of analysis for compressor also. And you will be easily able to develop some kind of polytropic efficiency expression for a compressor. I am not going to develop for a compressor, I am only going to develop this expression for polytropic efficiency of a turbine. So for a turbine, W actual by W is isentropic, you can write it as H1 minus H2 dash because this is a closed cycle, we assume so mass is same. So specific term you can write H1 minus H2 dash divided by H1 minus H2. So if you will assume the gas, because this parameter actually we use it for a Brighton cycle. Okay, gas turbine ke liye hum use karte hain, this parameter isentropic or what you can say, uh, polytropic efficiency or uh, this expression we use it for gas turbine. Okay, so if you will assume the gas as a calorically perfect gas, so for that calorically perfect gas, this H1 minus H2 dash, we can write it as Cp T1 minus T2 dash. So Cp, Cp will be cancelled out, you will get T1 minus T2 dash divided by T1 minus T2. Yes or no guys? Cp, Cp aapka cut ho jayega. And here if you will take T1 common, you will get 1 minus T2 dash by T1. Here you will get 1 minus T2 by T1. So T1, T1 will cancel out because you are taking T1 common from both numerator and denominator. What is this T1 by T2 dash guys? Is T1 by T2 dash ko, can I write this as Rp ki power n minus 1 by n? Yes or no? T, T1 by T2 dash is Rp ki power n minus 1 by n and this uh, T2 by T1 is uh, 1 by Rp ki power gamma minus 1 by gamma. Very easily you will get this expression if you will use the simple expression T2 by T1 equal to P2 by P1 ki power gamma minus 1 by gamma equal to V1 by V2 ki power gamma minus 1. That is a simple relationship which we use for a isentropic compression. Okay, compression or expansion case. Isentropic process, we use that relationship to uh, establish a relationship between temperature, pressure and volume. Okay, so if you will use that relationship, you will get this relationship. So from this easily we can say, ki efficiency, isentropic efficiency of a turbine or compressor is a function of pressure ratio. More is the pressure ratio, more is the isentropic efficiency. Just as a pressure ratio badta hai, aapka turbine ka, isentropic efficiency kya karti hai, badti hai. This is for a turbine guys. This is for a turbine. For a compressor, this is the reverse. Compressor ke liye kya hoga? Pressure ratio badega to efficiency is going to decrease. For turbine, pressure ratio will increase, efficiency will increase. But for compressor, pressure ratio will increase, efficiency will decrease. But for both the cases, efficiency is a function of pressure ratio. Efficiency kiska function hai? Pressure ratio ka. But turbine ke liye kya hoga? Dono directly proportional hai. For compressor, they are indirectly, inversely proportional. So, isse humne wo prove kar diya ki that efficiency, isentropic efficiency is a function of pressure ratio. So, if you are having two or three uh, turbine or compressor, like if I will talk about turbine only, if you are having two, three turbines which are having different compressor ratio, how you will compare their performance? For comparing their performance, we need to have some kind of parameter which is independent of the initial and final condition. Okay. So, some scientists, researchers, they develop this expression, polytropic efficiency, which is actually a efficiency which depends on the infinitesimally small temperature change. And for infinitesimally small temperature change, that is not a dependent on the initial and final condition. Polytropic efficiency is independent of the pressure ratio. So, how to get the expression for polytropic efficiency? That I am going to discuss with you. So let me tell you brief about this polytropic efficiency. It is also known as stage efficiency, useful to compare two or more compressor or turbine operating with different pressure ratio. Kya hota hai? Expression is same. Polytropic efficiency is similar to W actual by W is isentropic. Kiske liye baat kar rahe hain? Turbine ke liye. This we are writing for turbine. Compressor ke liye it will be W isentropic divided by W actual. Actual work required will be more as compared to the W isentropic in case of compressor. Compressor is a work absorbing device. Turbine ke liye we can write it as W actual from the turbine divided by W isentropic. What is W actual guys? In differential form, can I write this as Cp dt dash? Yes or no? dt dash is what? dt dash is this. Here if I will take small change, yaha pe koi small change le leta hu. So dt dash is the change in temperature when you are going it by known isentropic way. Okay. So dt dash, cp dt dash. Similarly cp dt, dt kya hai? Is a small change in temperature when you are going it by isentropic way. dt dash is a small change in temperature when you are going by polytropic or known isentropic way. So cp cp will cancel out. You, you can write this polytropic efficiency as dt dash divided by dt. What is this dt dash? dt dash is a small change in temperature when you are going it by known isentropic process and dt is a small change in temperature when we are going it by isentropic way. Okay. But how to get this relationship? If you will solve this, you will get this polytropic efficiency equal to n minus 1 by n multiplied by gamma by gamma minus 1 and clearly from this you can say ki there is no pressure ratio term, there is no initial temperature pressure term. So this efficiency, polytropic efficiency is independent of the 
initial condition it is independent of the pressure issue how to get that brief i am going to discuss with you so that you will be able to get clear cut idea about this pressure issue or uh, this polytropic efficiency so polytropic efficiency independent of initial and final condition independent of the pressure issue this depends on the infinitesimal small temperature change polytropic efficiency kis pe depend karta hai it does not depend on the total change like final temperature minus initial temperature for isentropic efficiency here what we have written t2 t1 minus t2 dash t1 minus t2 yahan pe kya likha tha humne t1 minus t2 dash yahan kya likha tha t1 minus t2 that was for isentropic efficiency initial minus final but for polytropic efficiency we are taking infinite in similarly small change in temperature so dt dash divided by dt are you getting so this efficiency is actually represented in for the small infinite decimally temperature change this actually this is a more universal parameter to compare as compared to isentropic efficiencies because this is independent of the initial and final conditions okay because th those conditions will be different for two or more different turbine or compressor chaliye so how to get that formula let me first consider a isentropic process अगर मैं एक आइसेंट्रोपिक प्रोसेस कंसीडर करता हूं सो फॉर ए आइसेंट्रोपिक प्रोसेस व्हाट इज पी टू बाई पी वन गाइस पी टू बाई पी वन इज टी टू बाई टी वन की पावर गामा बाय गामा माइनस वन बिकॉज टी टू बाई टी वन इज पी टू बाई पी वन की पावर गामा माइनस वन बाय गामा सो आई एम राइटिंग हेयर पी टू बाई पी वन इज टी टू बाई टी वन की पावर गामा बाय गामा माइनस वन इफ यू विल सिंप्लीफाई यू विल गेट दिस एक्सप्रेशन वेरी सिंपली सिंप्लीफिकेशन कर रहे हैं यू कैन यू कैन ईजिली कैरी आउट दिस टी पी टू की पावर गामा माइनस वन बाई टी टू की पावर गामा ओके टी टू की पावर गामा ये आ जाएगा एंड पी वन की पावर गामा माइनस वन बाय टी वन की पावर गामा दिस यू विल गेट ओके बिकॉज हमने इसको क्या कर दिया सिंपलीफाई कर दिया इजीली यू विल गेट दिस पर्टिकुलर केस ओके इसको आप कर सकते हो इफ यू टेक बोथ साइड पावर गामा माइनस वन यू विल गेट दिस ओके यहाँ पे अगर आप क्या ले लोगे पावर गामा माइनस वन ले लोगे इफ यू विल टेक हेयर पावर गामा माइनस वन सो दिस गामा माइनस वन विल कैंसिल आउट सो यू विल गेट टी टू बाई टी वन की पावर गामा एंड हेयर यू विल गेट पी टू बाई पी वन की पावर गामा माइनस वन दैट्स वाई हेयर यू आर हैविंग पी टू की पावर गामा माइनस वन डिवाइड बाई टी टू की पावर गामा एंड पी वन की पावर गामा माइनस वन डिवाइड बाई टी वन की पावर गामा फर्दर इफ यू विल कैरी आउट सिंप्लीफिकेशन यू विल गेट टी वन की पावर गामा इन टू पी वन की पावर वन माइनस गामा इक्वल टू टी टू की पावर गामा इन टू पी टू की पावर वन माइनस गामा so from this what you can write if you will observe this carefully we can write ha as t1 ki power gamma into p ki power 1 minus gamma is a constant because t1 ki power gamma into p1 ki power 1 minus gamma is equal to t2 ki power gamma into p2 ki power 1 minus gamma so we can say ki this particular quantity is constant to isko agar hum dono taraf log le le if you will take log both side we will be able to write this as gamma ln t because ln of t ki power gamma will be gamma ln t plus Again, ln of uh, this m plus n is ln of m plus n. Okay, ln of m n is ln of m plus n. So this one minus gamma ln p equal to constant because log of some constant you are going to get another constant. अभी ये मत बोल देना कि सर ये constant ये log log constant क्यों नहीं लिखा? Because if you will have some log constant, you will get another constant. Okay. So now if you will carry out differentiation both side. अगर आप इसको differentiate करते हो, what you will get guys? Gamma. What is the differentiation of this? One by t dt plus What is, it, what is this? This is a constant, and what is the differentiation of this? One by p dp equal to zero. Cons, uh, uh, differentiation of some constant, you will get zero. So this you will get. So further, if you will simplify this, you will get dt equal to minus one minus gamma by gamma dp by p into t. This expression you will get. Dt you will get this for a isentropic process. Similar way. similar way you know this particular relationship we can use for a polytropic process also only what you need to do in place of gamma we need to write n okay so similar relationship t2 by p1 equal to t2 by t1 ki power n by n minus 1 we can write it for a polytropic process so similar exercise if you will carry out for a polytropic process you will be able to get dt dash dt dash only where will be the change where you will observe the change in place of gamma you will get n so you can carry out similar exercise so you will get dt dash why actually i am writing dt dash because for a isentropic process we assumed the change in temperature is dt for a polytropic process the change in temperature is dt dash infinitesimal small change in temperature so dt dash will be minus 1 minus n by n dp by p into t yes or no so we are having these two this is pose equation 1 this is equation 2 तो अगर मैं यहां पे dt टी डैश डिवाइड बाई डी टी करता हूं वाई डी टी डैश बाई डी गाइस बिकॉज दिस पोलिट्रोपिक एफिशिएंसी इज नथिंग बट रेशियो ऑफ dt टी डैश बाई डी टी सो इफ यू डिवाइड दिस dt टी डैश बाई डी टी वट यू विल गेट गाइस दिस dt टी डैश बाई डी टी दिस दीज थिंग्स आर एक्चुअली गोइंग टू बी कैंसल आउट dp बाई पी इन टू टी डी पी बाई पी इन टू टी दिस विल कैंसल आउट एंड यू विल गेट 
some expression 1 minus n by n into gamma by 1 minus n. So, if you will take minus common from both the side, you will get n minus 1 divided by n into gamma by gamma minus 1. So, this is the final expression for the polytropic efficiency. This polytropic efficiency is a more universal parameter to compare multiple turbine or compressor. Multiple turbine or compressor. Why? because this this parameter is independent of the initial and final condition independent of the pressure ratios so if you are having three turbines like a b c these are the three turbines these are the pressure ratio pressure ratio 3 pressure ratio 4 pressure ratio 5 so for these cases if you will find out the isentropic efficiency surely you are going to get isentropic efficiency more for this because pressure ratio is like jyada hai pressure ratio is more isentropic efficiency will be more so you cannot compare these turbines multiple turbines uh, which are having different pressure ratio. If we, they are having same pressure ratio, then you can compare with their isentropic efficiency, which one is better. Okay. But if you are, want to compare multiple turbines or compressor, which are having different uh, pressure ratio, so you can compare it very effectively with the term polytropic efficiency. So polytropic efficiency will be but different. So suppose for this turbine, you are getting polytropic efficiency 90%. Okay, so what do you say? This is more efficient. This will be more efficient. It may be the case that this, this turbine is having isentropic efficiency less. But if this turbine is having more polytropic efficiency, so this will be better as compared to the, this which is having higher compressor ratio. Are you getting a point? So we will be able to compare multiple turbine and compressor universally with this particular quantity which is known as a polytropic efficiency. I think you got the point. What is this polytropic efficiency? One more thing which you need to understand. For a turbine, polytropic efficiency, isentropic efficiency, this is the, here on y-axis we are taking isentropic efficiency and here we are taking pressure ratio. For turbine guys, you know, isentropic efficiency increases with the increase in pressure ratio. Isentropic efficiency kya karegi bachho? Increase karegi with the increase in pressure ratio. Same type of diagram, you can show it for compressor also. So isentropic efficiency for compressor, Okay, here what will happen? This will decrease. What will happen? Decrease karegi. because pressure ratio agar badega compressor ka, so efficiency is going to decrease. But for turbine, it is going to increase. Pressure ratio badega, efficiency will increase. Okay, but the polytropic efficiency for the turbine is independent of the pressure ratio. You are changing the pressure ratio, but your polytropic efficiency is not going to change because that is independent of the pressure ratio. So that's why on this entire line, I have written only one polytropic efficiency. Okay. Ye kya aapka polytropic efficiency 1, pehli turbine ka. But if you are want to compare multiple turbines, so you will have a graph something like this. This is for a polytropic efficiency 1. Suppose this is another turbine, jis ke liye polytropic efficiency kitna hai. This is 2, you are having another turbine which is having polytropic efficiency 3. So these are the 3 turbines, polytropic efficiency 1, 2, 3. Okay. So which one is having more polytropic efficiency? This one. So this is better. Because iska polytropic efficiency kya hai jyada hai. Are you getting a point? So, polytropic efficiency will be different for different turbines. For a one turbine, okay, polytropic efficiency will be same. It is not going to change with the change in the pressure ratio. Okay, so I think you, you now this concept is very much clear to you. What is first law? That actually, I am not focused on that this time. First law, second law efficiency. What is isentropic efficiency? What is this polytropic efficiency? I think you will be able to justify. Okay, so isko aap ek aur cheez dekhlo. This isentropic efficiency of the turbine we can write it as 1 minus 1 by rp ki power you know this expression which we have written initial initially this expression isentropic efficiency of the turbine is 1 minus 1 by rp ki power n minus 1 by 1 minus 1 by rp ki power gamma minus 1 and guys this n minus 1 we can replace is n minus 1 by n ko hum kya kar sakte hai? replace kar sakte hai. okay this n minus 1 by n we can replace because now we know the polytropic efficiency of the turbine is n minus 1 by n into gamma by gamma minus 1. So we can replace this quantity n minus 1 by n with this polytropic efficiency multiply by gamma minus 1 by gamma. So if you will replace this n minus 1 by n with this, we will get the isentropic efficiency of the turbine is 1 minus 1 by rp ki power gamma minus 1 by gamma into what? This because this quantity is what guys? This quantity is nothing but n minus 1 by n. Okay, so we are replacing this entire quantity. So actually we are trying to establish some relationship between isentropic efficiency and polytropic efficiency. Okay, I think you got the point. Keep preparing. Again we will meet and we will discuss another important question. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.